once a society collapses then you're in hard times well hard iron sharpens iron as they say and those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough men who are resourceful men who are strong enough to survive and then they go on to re-establish order and so the cycle begins again So that is The End of Men coming soon from Tucker Carlson. The End of Men is the title that they landed on. They were running with finishing off men, but they figured that's a bit too on the nose. Yeah, so yeah. The End of Men, which Ending talks men. about, <laughs> exactly, it is, the, it is the need for strong men. And what is a strong man? Well, a strong man is a guy who like takes weird baths and, and suntans his scrot, I guess, Francesca, I guess. Strong men are ones with really tan sacks, I suppose. What do you think? And drinks raw eggs, that's what those are, like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. And Why can't a, we just like get an, back to that? But it's didn't an you cancel? Thing. You're not supposed to drink. Like the, We've learned things about nutrition in the last 40 years. That's so purposefully a throwback. Nah, they know salmonella that's Salmonella is for bitches, man. You, you, you're like a real man? Real men don't get salmonella. <laughs> I'm made of salmonella. Oh my god. Anyway, look, it's um it's a documentary about <laughs> the total collapse of testosterone levels in men, which has been noted in medical studies. That's a thing. <laughs> not not a collapse, but a lowering. Uh that's been attributed to an aging population and other comorbidities. It is not a thing. Look, I'm gonna try to get through. Well, they to- love comor- comorbidities. John, that's their favorite thing to talk about is comorbidities. <laughs> That is true, and it has consequences. Um, if you are one of the guys who is now considering, I don't know, just like cranking the microwave and, and like fanning your crotch at it, um, this is not actually the answer. None of this that's gonna be in that documentary is the answer. Uh, wokeness doesn't lower hormone levels in your body. That's not how that actually works. If you're worried about things that could be affecting your health, worry about microplastics and things like that. Worry yes. about high levels of environmental toxins. Those exist, but you don't get rid of them by limiting CRT. That's all I'm saying. Maybe I'm not an expert, but I'll guarantee this. I'm just as expert as anyone they're gonna put into that documentary. Okay, this has been pointed out very crassly online multiple times, but I do wanna say the right position is supposedly that the left and I don't know, yeah, Disney, um, M&Ms, whomever, is if like making men effeminate and turning them gay. And I got, I just gotta point out, you can't watch that trailer and not see how homoerotic it is. Like it is just, I'm sorry, I'm, it's just, come on. No, come on, it's it's at worst bromoerotic. It is bromoerotic, that's all it is. And also, what is he doing? When I first he's saw the, the charging his nuts, so that's what that, he's doing. So okay, apparently he's tanning his testicles, which is literally the last thing that I could imagine. First, it looks like a giant COVID test. It looks like he's putting <laughs> his junk up to a COVID test and being like, "Is it positive?" You know, that's what it looks like. Number one. Then I'm like, "Is he charging himself like a Tesla? Is that the future? <laughs> what are we doing here?" And then come to find out testicle tanning is trending all over Twitter because that's what he's doing. John Iderola, have you have you partaken? Have I in the test? Have I put have the you- D the D and DC fast charging? No, I, I have not actually done that. You know, I gotta say too, like you're pointing out, that's not where my criticism of this is gonna lie. But a lot of people are pointing out that the imagery is interesting for a movement that focuses so much on demonizing the LGBTQ community. Yes. Um, they they have, as a general policy, up until like today, demonized any man who like maintained his body hair, cared yes. about his appearance. Then they jump immediately to, no, that's not good enough. Generalized skin cancer is not good enough. You need to pump your testicles full of cancer directly at the source. That's will that'll increase the testosterone. It's yeah. like you know, it's like taking a bunch of iPhones and just strapping them around your balls and walking <laughs> around and then <laughs> tweeting from them all day long. You know, real men stuff that helps with the sperm <sighs> count. What? 
Yeah, I look, I gotta read some of the responses. Nikki Ramirez, who I think did more than anyone in, in making this go viral, yeah. says men will literally put their balls in a toaster instead of going to therapy. <laughs> um, I love it. Uh, Justin says Tucker would get arrested if he showed this video in a Florida classroom. Great point. It's so needlessly sexual. Uh, George Takei says this is so gay. <laughs> That's George's <laughs> opinion. That's not my opinion. Anyway, um, I do want to give Tucker a chance to make the case here. He is promoting this documentary. One of the biggest stories of our lifetimes is the total collapse in testosterone levels in American men. Those levels are declining by roughly 10% per decade, completely changing the way people are at the most fundamental level. NIH does not seem interested in this at all. It's not a big deal. We think it is a huge deal. So we want to know what's causing it and what you can do about it. That's the topic of our upcoming documentary called The End of Men. Okay, so first of all, to be clear, yes, scientists are very much looking into this and many other long term changes across the world population due to a number of different toxins. So again, where he doesn't con like continually inspire suspicion and fear of expertise, he just ignores that it actually exists. Because he doesn't want to bring on the scientists. He doesn't want to talk about perhaps no. regulations of uh, industries that are polluting the environment and leading to this. No, instead, he wants you to drink more monkey bone broth. So he's going to bring on people who previously would have only had a platform on Infowars. He instead is going to platform them on Fox News and tell you that. Um, that being a man fundamentally isn't about some sort of inner strength or understanding or mental wellness or whatever. It's about a tan scrow, nothing more. Um, I, I want to throw a question out to the audience though. Like if you're a conservative and you are excited about this and you're like, yes, finally, they're focusing on us. Men. Do you believe that Tucker Carlson has ever or will ever do any of the things that he just profiled in that? Do you think that he's obsessed? with getting some UV rays on his lower body? Do you think he's doing the ice bath? Do you think he's flipping truck tires? Do you think he's doing any of that? No, no, you are being conned. How can you not see this? These are incredibly wealthy people who understand they've identified the fears that you have deep inside of you and they are playing you for money and clout. It's as simple as that. With Fantastic. very, very pale testicles, just the palest. Oh my God, the so pale. whitest of the white, so just the, the face of the moon. Um, the egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. No. Maybe there's a bow tie on it. Other than that, there's yes. nothing, there's no imperfections. There's no, it's never seen the sun. Um, no, and you're exactly right. Like, none of it is going to be at all scientific. Look at that. Look at that entire montage, the, the cow udder, the moving of the tire. It's not gonna be scientific, you're totally right. What are they gonna say? Like, my question is, what's the correlation they're gonna draw? They're like, well, you know, ever since women were able to vote, we can trace the decline of the testosterone. And here is when birth control became widely used. <laughs> and then, you know, like, and then when women stopped, you know, just relying uh, like just stopped uh, being in the kitchen and they stopped having kids. Like they're wanna bet it's going to all be about women's rights and how that somehow correlates with yeah. men losing. It's not gonna be about like, oh yeah, yeah, the rise of using plastic in literally everything that might have something to do with that, which 100%. honestly I care about for health reasons generally, a lot of cancerous and, and other awful things um, and things that we put in our body. But not on some like weirdo misogynistic, this is totally. what's making people gay tip. So I just, but then again, we could all arrive at the same problem, which would be giant corporations getting away with poisoning people, but like they're not gonna actually do that or even advocate regulation to yeah. rein any of that in. Yeah, I can't I, believe we're taking this seriously. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, speak for yourself. I'm not taking. I mean, he's a serious threat. I'll give you that. Also, I'll give you a call to action. If you are a uh, conservative man or yeah, even a liberal man, and you are fundamentally, continually terrified about whether you're alpha enough and whether you're strong enough, uh, I would say as a starting point, um, being terrified of everything around you is hardly a position of strength as a man. Uh, his business plan is to make you terrified constantly of everything to leave you a sniveling shivering mess of a man. That's what his <laughs> business is. So if you'd like Just to be like a stronger him. man, change the channel, honestly.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.